Albion Online um, is an MMO uh, with a medieval setting. Um, it has a lot of uh, sandbox uh, style gameplay to it and territorial warfare. The important thing about the game is that we that we emphasize player freedom. You will be able to uh, craft your own weapons, your own equipment, you will have to defend your village against other players. You will be able to conquer other players' villages. It is very important for Albion Online that it's not a single player game, but it's really a multiplayer game where you have to play with uh, other people, you have to socialize with other people and you have to work together as a group, otherwise you will not be able to succeed. You can gather resources in a lots of different um, areas and fields. You can um, build your own cities, you can develop uh, your own um, political systems. You will be able to um, work as a mercenary maybe, or um, work as a, uh, as, an, um, as a craftsman, or as a trader, or basically everything you, everything you want to be. Our game will be available for Mac, Linux, Windows, but also for Android and iOS tablets. In the office I have a powerful PC, so maybe I want to play with that. Uh, in the evening on my couch I want to play with my iPad or my Android pad or something like that. You want the player themselves to decide where to play and when to play. It was pretty clear that we have to do something different, like coming up with something very clean, something which you can uh, easily um, read from the distance. The only way of, um, to, to support the style um, and to make sure that the audience can read uh, all the characters and all the details in the game was to massively um, overdo the, the style by going into cartoon uh, a little bit or into extremes in the shapes and in the colors and everything. As a player you can build your own house the most simple house is a, a tent, basically. The most expensive house will be more like a palace, actually. You can build uh, different kinds of buildings, like forges or um, a sawmills, uh, a carpenter's workshop, a stonemasonry. So we do not only want them to create uh, player houses, like you have in some games, but we want to focus that they create the complete village, including everything what is part of a village. My favorite building will be the academy, I think, um, with the old wizard, maybe uh, with some broken experiments, which will blow off the building from time to time. Uh, that's what we are planning, with uh, lots of effects from the window, and you, from the distance, realize, oh my goodness, the old wizard uh, is on the work again. Creating buildings is, is usually a, a team effort. More simple buildings you can, you can make yourself. You can build your own tent probably, but if you, if you want to build a larger fortress or something, you will need the help of other players. We have a complete industry and variety of different buildings. Overall in Albion Online we have 50 different buildings and still implementing more day by day. We decided against having, having character levels or experience points because that usually leads to situations where a player who puts in a lot of time is undefeatable at some point. The player defines um, himself only with his items he carries. So um, when you want to play a mage or when you want to play a warrior, um, you choose the items that fits your character and your playstyle. So um, for example, when you uh, want to have melee damage, but you want to also have um, the ability to heal yourself or to cast spells. You can do that with combining spells with your self-crafted items and have a kind of configuration that fits your playing need. You can mix any way you want and uh, it's probably exciting to figure out how certain combinations are beneficial. Um, it may even make sense to combine the wizard hat with the battle axe. So we want players to experiment with that, to, to figure out what set of equipment um, supports their, their playing style. You have six to eight items you can wear, like weapons and armor, that configure your um, whole configuration you want to have for your playing style. The exciting thing about our game is that you can, um, that you can really lose something. Uh, 
um, being killed actually means you, you lose your equipment. So that, is, that, that really sucks. <laughs> the full loot system um, itself just says that whenever you die, you can um, be looted by anyone who's looting your corpse or your body. So you can lose um, everything um, you have with you when you are um, when you're getting into much risk. The uh, whole economy is built on, on resources, on buildings, and out of these two components, creating and crafting the items. There will be an auction house in the game, um, which, is, which is actually not really an auction house. It's more like a public, a public marketplace where you can offer stuff and buy stuff from other players. So it's, it's not an auction house in the sense that you have to bid for something and the highest bid wins. No, it's, it's more like a marketplace where you can offer stuff you've gathered, stuff you've crafted, and other players will be able to instantly buy that from you. What I really like about the game design um, is that you can build your city, that you can build your realms, that you can build your political systems. Um, where at the end, hopefully, uh, armies will clash as kingdoms will come and go. Um, and this is, of course, the aim of the whole game. And you can really play any way you want. Uh, and me personally, on, on, on some days, I just want to gather resources and build something. And on, on other days, I'm in a different mood and I just want to want to go out there and kill something. And you can do both in the game. And that's, that's fantastic, I think.